I don't know how much to do. <laughs> Jesus. The holes, they're just not in the right spot for me. Tonight we're making a lasagna soup. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going everywhere. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am about to refresh my hair. I just went to Sephora and bought this, only this, because I've heard really good things and I was on the hunt for a new dry shampoo. So I got this one from Day. It's the Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. This was $30. And don't get me wrong, the one I normally buy is from Living Proof and it's also pretty pricey. I think I just feel weird because this one's so small, but the whole difference is it's like straight up powder and a little bit goes a long way. It's not spray. So I think it's gonna give like the same amount of product, but I'm gonna like do a hair refresh right now. Even though I actually think this looks pretty cute. I've got my little skims clip in. Um, I had an appointment this morning, so I do have on glam. Oh, side note, this is the newer shade I picked up the other day from Maybelline, and it is so much better. As you can see, this is 112, and then this is uh, 110. So it's just like a sprinkle lighter. This was a tiny bit too dark right now. Like I'd have to really blend it down my neck. And I think this one's better. So anyway, yeah, I went to an appointment this morning and then I just popped into Sephora and grabbed this. This was the last one. So I was very excited. And I also used 500 of my Sephora points to get it for $10 off. So I spent $21. So I have not dry shampooed my hair yet since I washed and styled it. So I'm really curious how it's going to go. I think I've had this for about three days. As you can see, we're, we're a little greasy. We're a little greasy. Section hair, hold four to six inches away and spray directly onto roots. Let it sit for 15 to 30 seconds and then massage it with your fingertips. I was really excited that they had it. Um, I don't know about you guys, if you have AT&T, this morning um, for like, it just came back on actually and it's like 12.30 right now. There was this huge, I think nationwide, on and off for people outage, cellular outage with AT&T. So I didn't have a uh, service when I like went to my appointment and it was like kind of liberating, but it was also kind of weird to be disconnected. So you guys will have to let me know if you also lost service. It was weird though, because my mom is part of our AT&T plan and she had service, but I did not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see, four to six inches. Whoop, so you just poof it. Ooh, it smells good. I don't know how much to do. <laughs> Jesus. Day products all smell so, so good. Am I the only one? I discovered day products through Emily Kaiser. I feel like in the TikTok world, she kind of put us all on with the styling cream, but I may be wrong and people may have discovered it far before Emily. I'm gonna just kind of section some little flippies here. God, that smells so freaking good. What does that smell like? It's like almost like fruity, fruity candy. And I feel like the good thing is, <laughs> Once I do dry shampoo, it like kind of tends to last for like days. So that's good. It's kind of like a every few days after and then I usually just wash my hair. Okay, so I actually, I think I spread it pretty evenly, but you know, I'd love to find a non aerosol dry shampoo just cause like, I don't know, I've heard they're not good for you. And I've tried the one from Kristen S. Or was it Odell? Maybe I tried both. They were both at Target um, and they were okay. I didn't like love them as much as my aerosol ones though. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Give it some time. So now let's give it a good old ruffly do. I'm actually really feeling how my makeup had turned out today. You know how some days your makeup, it's like you love it or like other days it's just like, yeah. But I did like this tiny little baby wing with brown eyeliner. Um, and the lashes are lashing, you guys. I'm telling you that lash food serum combined with, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna buy another mascara. This is my favorite right now. I mean, I have others that I like. These are the other two. Like I really like the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and then the Kill Lash from Clio. These are my other two faves, but like right now, this is bae. Like the lashes have never lashed so hard. The combo of the serum, with this mascara has just been like really working for me. So I'll link those items. If you have sensitive eyes, that serum is safe for you. I've got like the most sensitive eyes ever. Honestly, the one reason I'm not gonna 
probably ever, I mean, maybe, wow, look at the volume, uh, get LASIK is because my contacts protect my eyes from everything. If I try to do makeup, chop an onion, forget about it, or like do anything without my contacts in that's like sensitive, my eyes will burn so bad. It feels like I'm taking a torch to them if I get like a drop of anything in them. <laughs> and my contacts literally like protect my eyes. So I don't mind wearing my daily contacts, but um, I just feel like if I got LASIK, I heard your eyes can get more sensitive after the fact. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Kevin Murphy Young Again Dry Conditioner, just a little bit on the ends for like, see how it kind of gives like a little, ooh, little shine back to the hair, a little hydration, but you only wanna make sure this goes on your ends or mids. But I really I like the dry shampoo, you guys. There's no white cast like at all. I feel like I liked that it absorbed so well. Didn't leave a white cast. It doesn't, it never felt like wet. You know how some dry shampoos like never feel fully dry or like you have to wait a long time or blow dry them. Um, and it smells incredible. It gave a ton of like volume and lift. It does say on it, it can absorb oil, add volume and extend your styles. So overall, I like it. Go in with a little bit more dry conditioner. My hair does, you know, I feel like as the day goes on, your hair does get more dry at the ends after you don't wash. And it just makes like the ends so soft if you do like a dry conditioner and see how it has a little more shine. And I might just like touch up a couple pieces with my beach waver. I'll link this too. I love this thing. I've had it for probably 10 years. And you guys have been telling me you like the wispies when I put my hair up. So I'm definitely gonna try to do that more because I agree, it just makes me feel, I don't know, like a little more cutesy. Just touch up a few pieces. I will never get sick of this beach waver. It's just like the quickest. And like, I haven't touched it up in days <laughs> since I did it. And it still looks like fairly decent, you know? I'll probably like wash my hair in another. I mean, honestly, I feel like that refresh with those products can easily give me a few more days, so. All right, cool. I'm really happy with that dry shampoo. Make sure to shut off your stuff. All right, yeah, that, that gave some nice volume. All right, you guys, so I have been putting this off. I haven't done a clothing haul here in a while. Um, another day I got the urge to look at Princess Polly. I haven't looked on their site in like a while, so um, I picked up a few things. So I'm gonna show you guys a little Princess Polly haul. Okay, so I haven't opened it yet. And because I have the memory of a literal goldfish, we're about to remember what I ordered together. because so I got this at least a few weeks ago. Oh, I was excited because they had a few things that were giving it like Durf Avenue, Jerf, Durf. <laughs> That's another. Emily Kaiser influence. Okay, I didn't get that much, like a couple pieces. And then I did fall victim to another like Instagram ad or TikTok ad for jeans from the Moco Boutique. They looked so cute on the models and I like how they always have like a plus size person and the straight size person uh, together. These are from Lover Vet and they just like look so, they look so cute. And you know how they're supposed to be like, really stretchy so hopefully they are um i got my regular size 18 so we'll see i don't have any bottoms to try on from princess polly so let's try the jeans on first hopefully they've got a good return policy these are some big ass knee holes all right they fit perfectly i don't think these look good on me they like expose the part of my leg I like the least. <laughs> Here's what they look like. Overall, they are so comfortable, so stretchy. The holes, <laughs> they're just not in the right spot for me, but I, I really like the fit. Like they feel great. I'm gonna see if I can exchange them for whole lists. Okay, well this is super cute. I got this t-shirt from Princess Polly. Again, that kind of Durf Avenue vibe with like the soft, watercolory fruits. I think, I think this is adorable. So it's a nice like perfectly cropped fit where it's not like cropped, but it will sit perfectly with a pair of high-waisted jeans. And I don't know, I just think, I think it's so cute. Just like perfect for getting into the spring vibe. It's got like lemon, grapefruit, peaches, 
grapes and then some little flowers. I am craving warmth. I'm craving sunshine <laughs> and like just, I don't know. Like I just wanna be able to wear this with like some flip flops out in the world. Okay, you guys know on the day to day, I'm just, I'm a sweatshirt girl. I love a crew neck, <sighs> an oversized, loose, comfy, sweatshirt. Um, I thought this was really cute with the Princess Polly logo and there's a since 2010. It's got cute stripes down the sleeves. But yeah, I think this is just like so, uh, so cozy. And again, like going from winter to spring, it kind of gets to that point where you wear stuff like this and your leggings and Uggs until you can switch over to sandals. So yeah, I don't know. I love this. It's really soft, really, really a nice quality. And then I also got a PJ set, which is also very uh, derfy. In the US, 18, they got everything in an 18. So look at the cute shorts. This cute little pattern on them. They're very lightweight, which I love because I get hot when I sleep. And they are just these shorts. And then a matching tank, this little cami. Um, I don't want to try this on, but here's what the model looks like. It's a very, very like soft, lightweight. I love how it has like the eyelet design so it's gonna give you that nice breathability if you also get hot when you sleep. And I just live for like a cute short and tank matching pajama sleep set. That's what I love to sleep in. And then last but not least, got this little headband. So cute with the cherries on it. I love headbands, I really do. Especially in this hair phase. I feel like, you know, whether my hair is straight, wavy, or curly, I can just throw in a headband if I wanna wear it down, but keep it out of my face. And it's a little bit thicker in the front, so you can kind of scrunch it if you want to. I'm so sad about these jeans, because they feel so comfortable. But too much, it's too much thigh. It just doesn't feel right. So let's see. Please tell me I can return these. It looks like I can return it within 30 days of purchasing, but there's a fee of $8, that's fine. I probably will if they'll like do an even exchange, just exchange them. Cause like I said, I actually, they're very comfortable and I'm here for a comfy jean. But yeah, that's good. I'm gonna either return or exchange these. Okay, you guys, I am sitting at the island doing some work. I like working in my office, but like there's just, I don't know, there's something about working at the kitchen island. It just hits every time for me. Okay, so I wanted to give a little recap or just touch base really quick on the Risa Tisa story. Um, I talked about it, like, I think I talked about it briefly in a vlog and I've posted a couple like TikToks about it, um, but I finished it, oh, was it yesterday or the day before? And like, I miss it already. <laughs> I did the math and it's literally, she posts 50 videos. I, mean, I forgot the math. <laughs> she posted 50 videos in that series. 50 parts and they're all like 10 minutes. It's literally over eight hours of content. Um, and she put out a TikTok uh, recently saying that she made it like that designed to be like listened to as an audiobook, which was genius, which is exactly what I did a lot of the time. I would just kind of, I'd put in my AirPods and just, you know, do the dishes or whatever and uh, listen to it. And her voice was so soothing. Um, I did hit a little with the 2x speed sometimes when I could, but otherwise I just, I spent time listening to that. And the story was just incredible. I'm so glad she shared her story. Um, I'm sure it's gonna help so many people who have that like gut feeling that like something is wrong. You know, trust your gut people. I just feel like we were given with this instinct, trust your gut. Every time I haven't trusted my gut, like it proves to me like, girl, you should have trusted your gut. So oh, just, I am so invested now on the whole story. If you don't know what the hell I am talking about, there is Risa Tisa on TikTok post, you've probably seen it. She posted a story time called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? And it's, she starts every video like that and it's ingrained in my head for the rest of my life. It is just so good. This woman married a pathological liar during uh, lockdown, during COVID, and he just like lied about everything like was on the phone talking to people that didn't exist family members that didn't exist or that he hasn't talked to in a, a decade and lied about his job lied about m the money he had putting in offers on homes that with like a fake um chase approval letter it was just so much it's just so much and it she's really great at telling the story i found it was like the perfect pace and detail oriented flow, I thought it was perfect. 
but um, I'm really happy for her because one of the things he had lied about was like getting her, he kind of like would keep giving her crumbs to like keep her there, which is super like narcissistic behavior. Been there, um, but he promised her like a trip to London where she's always wanted to go for her birthday. Um, and now like we're all just like rooting so hard for her. And like I saw that she's gonna be going there um, and I think I saw in the comments that Delta like wanted to fly her there and then someone else like a hotel commented about putting her up like people are Giving so much love to her and it just makes me so happy and she's gonna vlog her trip there and now I'm just so invested um, People were saying like call it life after Legion and we're all rooting for you. It's just oh. It's just I'm so happy for her and it's just such a magical thing to follow um all this good stuff that's coming to her now. I did see, I can't decide, like I can't find the original anywhere, but I guess he came out and posted like a response saying that, why are you lying? You cheated on me with Bradley. And all the comments are like, who the hell's Bradley? We all know there's no Bradley. But um, I'm just, I'm so invested. I just like have to talk about this. Um, my friend is watching it too. And uh, I've been talking about it with her, but like, it's just so much. Like, please, if you have not listened, I know it's a lot, but like, the great thing is if you click on the playlist, you can just play in order and it auto plays. So like you can just throw in your headphones and like fold laundry or whatever and listen. And it's just incredible. I want her to get a book deal, movie deal, all of the above. And I'm sure she will because it has taken the internet by storm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I had, I had to talk about it. I'm also watching Love is Blind right now. I'm a little behind um, because I wanted more episodes to come out. Um, I just started episode six last night and then got tired and stopped watching, but I think up to episode nine is out now. Every, I can't like give my opinion on it yet because every 30 seconds, my opinions on certain things change. So yeah, I'll talk about that more when I watch like up to the rest, but it's a really, uh, really entertaining season so far. So that's my little reality catch up. <laughs> of the day. So I did um, print out the label and box up the jeans um, and I'm gonna go drop those off at the post office. All right, you guys, it is now five o'clock. I went and did my return at the post office and I'm about to whip up dinner. So I thought I would share with you guys. I'm trying actually something new that has been all over the interwebs. And I've actually, I've tried several TikTok recipes all the way back to the feta pasta. And I haven't had one not be good yet. So tonight we're making a lasagna soup. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this avocado olive oil blend into the pot. Got a pound of lean ground beef. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy meat masher. And then we'll get it all cooked and browned. Okay, so I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic and onion powder. I'm also gonna add in a lot of minced garlic. Let that kind of cook there as well. I drained the excess oil and I'm gonna add in this um, reduced sodium chicken broth. I'm gonna do this whole container, which is 32 ounces. And I'm gonna add in this whole jar, 28 ounces of crushed tomato. You could do chunky if you want, like diced, but I like smooth. And I'm gonna add in some tomato paste, a couple tablespoons. Mix it all up. So I seasoned the beef really well, but now I need to season the broth a bit. So I'm gonna do oregano, um, a little bit of thyme. And I don't love the taste of rosemary, so I'm just gonna do like a <laughs> little, little bit. And I'll taste it later, but I'm gonna do a little more salt and pepper. Not too much, because I don't know how salty it's gonna be from the broth, but just a sprinkle and then we'll see. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil before we put in our noodles. Okay, so I brought it to a boil and now it's just doing a very light simmer. I turned it to low, cause we're not gonna eat for probably like 45 minutes. And then I'll come back probably 10 minutes before we're ready and break up some dry lasagna noodles and let them cook in here. Um, and then serve it with like some cheeses on top. So I will be back when I put the noodles in. Okay, it is time to add in our noodles. 
I just went ahead and tasted this and it is incredible. I ended up adding some red pepper flakes. This is my first time making it. I looked up a bunch of recipes and kind of just made it my own. Um, but I added a little bit of red pepper flakes for heat and it is delicious. So now we're just going to break apart lasagna noodles, you know, some bigger and some smaller. And let these cook in the broth. I don't know if I want them big or small, so I'm kind of just do, ooh, Jesus, <laughs> doing both. Breaking apart noodles is a lot more chaotic than I expected. They're going everywhere. But for real, this tastes incredible, so I think it's gonna be perfect with the noodles and with a little bit of uh, like ricotta on top. There we go. Give that a good mix. I just had like a half a box left, so just used what we had. But this is gonna give it like a good, you know, nice texture. So I'm gonna bring this back to a boil and let this cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll add our toppings. All right, you guys, it is time to serve it up and put on our topping. So I ended up just like kind of making um, a little mixture versus like putting them all on separately, like the way you would make an actual ricotta mixture for a lasagna. So ricotta, Parmesan, Italian seasoning, um, and a little bit of mozzarella. So you can kind of just let it melt on top, like take a little bit with your bite. So let's give it a final taste test. All right, Yara's finishing up work, but then we're gonna watch <laughs> John Wick 3. It feels like Fast and Furious all over again where we're just like binging the series. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, here's a bite with a little bit of everything, the cheese mixture, uh, the meat, and lasagna noodle. I gotta let it like cool down, it's very hot. All right. I like this better than lasagna. Oh my God. If you need a new dinner idea, this is it, great leftovers. <gasps> That's really good. And once you like add in the noodles, it becomes less brothy. Cause like at first I was like, this is a lot of broth, but it does soak up into the noodles. Wow, 10 out of 10, definitely give it a try. Let me know if you do. And let me know if you guys have any other fun recipes you wanna try, cause I love trying a new dinner recipe. Tomorrow. You guys, guess what tonight is? We've got our leftover lasagna soup. Yar's got on his McLaren shirt. Oh wow, that wasn't even on purpose. I know. It's a special night in the Rodriguez household. Bruno even has a little snack ready to go. We're about to watch the new season of Drive to Survive. It's Friday night. This is a perfect Friday night and I know we're gonna binge this the whole weekend. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Happy Sunday when you're watching. Let me know if you guys watched the new season yet. Bye guys. Bye.